guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are going to be doing this fall makeup look I used a mixture of drugstore products and high-end products so you get a little bit of a mixture in here if you guys would like to see how I got this fall inspired makeup look then just go ahead and keep watching I'm gonna go ahead and just prime my eyelids with some concealer I already have my brows done so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the eyes today. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm gonna be doing, but I do want to use the Melt Cosmetics 420 palette. Looks like this. My hair changed again. I feel like my hair changes every single time that I film a video. I have a different hair color every time. But this one I feel like is gonna stay for a while. I'm getting very fall pumpkin vibes which i am very into i'm gonna start off with the yellow shade in the palette which is wax right over here and i'm just gonna dust that all over my crease i have used this palette a couple times and i will be honest it's a little powdery um you do get some kickback for sure when using this palette but I don't really mind that, but I did notice that as soon as you like dip your brush in any of the shades, uh, it literally gets everywhere. So then I'm gonna go in to full melt, which is this brown here. So other than my hair, I did actually get my lips done recently. That was my first time uh, ever doing injectables. I've never had injectables done before. And I was a little nervous, but I'm not, I don't really have a huge like fear of needles or anything like that. I've never really been that way. I would like to think that I have a pretty high tolerance for pain. I'm not really squeamish or anything like that. I have been thinking about doing my lips for a long, long time, mainly just for volume. I feel like I never really had like super tiny lips. They just weren't as full as I would have liked them to be. And even now, like I feel like if I had never said anything, maybe you guys would have never even noticed. A really good friend of mine who is an RN, she's been an RN for uh, a while now and she had been working under a doctor who uh, specializes in injectables. So she basically needed like some models to practice on and I was one of them and I'm so thankful for her. She did an amazing, amazing job. I trust her 100%. She just has an eye for things like this. So uh, I never doubted her, not one minute. She was really good about telling me basically what to do leading up to the procedure. So you're supposed to uh, cut back on salt, alcohol all of that stuff just to help reduce swelling and bruising and i did have very 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 minimal to no bruising after so i was super happy about that and i did swell up nothing insane i was honestly prepared to wake up with like huge like chris jenner lips i wouldn't have come across a better time other than now because everybody has to wear masks now so it's like even if they did bruise really intense or you know even if they did swell really really bad i have to wear a mask at work anyways i had my eyes closed the entire time although needles don't really freak me out i still didn't want to watch a needle going into my lip so i did have my eyes closed the whole time and then they did give me like a stress ball which i think helped too to like uh squeeze she did put numbing cream on me and she put that on about like 20 ish minutes before she actually did the injectables and i think that that helped a lot because I feel like my whole mouth, not my the inside of my mouth, but just this whole area was completely numb. So I don't know if that was just like a placebo or if it like genuinely helped. I think it did because I couldn't feel my lips. Honestly, it just felt overall like pinching. It didn't really feel like I wasn't like, maybe that's just me. I know everybody's different, um, but it wasn't excruciating for me. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the shade Blunt, which is right here. Right after I, Took a picture of my lips and i was happy with them honestly like i didn't think that they looked like huge or anything like that i was scared that i would like almost instantly regret what i chose to do but they looked really good she did use a full syringe of restylane kiss they say it's like the most natural it's more natural than like uh, juvederm prior to me getting lip injections i had a scar 
on my lip scar tissue on this side of my lip so my lips my top lips were always like uneven this side just always looks like it had more volume because of that scar tissue i mainly always just kind of wanted to like even them out and just get like a little bit more of a pout and i feel like that's exactly what i got the next day they just feel tight like you know when you get like a blister on like the back of your foot or something from wearing new shoes and the blister like bubbles up and it gets like your skin gets really tight that's what my lips felt like. I know that's probably a really weird description, a really weird like comparison, but that's the best way that I could describe it. My skin, my lips just felt tight. Like I couldn't fully like maneuver them yet. And I know that that was like 100% normal. I mean, it was the day after I had gotten them done. I didn't expect to, you know, I didn't expect anything different. I would say probably like three ish days after three to four days after i started to feel little lumps in my lips like little bumps and at first it you know, and you can tell it was where the injections were made and honestly like at first i was like okay like maybe this is normal like it'll go down and a week later they were still there they were going down like each day but they were never like fully they had never fully gone away so i was honestly freaking out so i text my girlfriend and she reassured me that it was like 100 percent normal it happens with swelling when did i get them done let me see i got them done august 23rd and today is september 29th so over a month ago and the lumps have completely subsided they are no longer in there and i hate the word lump like that sounds really scary and like not okay they were just little like they were swollen like just swollen areas of my lips but they completely went away and my lips are super smooth now if you've been thinking about getting your lips done this is your sign that you've been waiting for <laughs> get them done like 100 percent if you have you know done your research and you want to do it go for it i'm super happy with them i have no regrets at all so i'm gonna take a little bit of the shade chronic which is this kind of like deeper green ish hunter green shade and i'm just gonna take that on the same brush this is a sephora pro crease brush number 27 i absolutely love these the whole brush line if you guys haven't tried them out they are amazing super nice quality without being like insanely pricey just taking that deeper green shade and i'm just kind of gonna build up that outer area and just kind of smoke this out a little bit it probably took about a solid like three weeks at least for my lips to like fully kind of heal and you know feel like natural again she did have a couple other models there um and there was a girl who went before me and she had never had injectables before either and she got her lips done and it's just so crazy like how it affects people differently and everybody's body is different everyone you know reacts differently to different things but she uh, as soon as she was done, uh, my girlfriend like called me over and she's like, okay, you're gonna be next I'm just gonna put the numbing cream on you and then wait about 20 minutes and then come back in So when I walked over I passed the girl who was getting her lips done and she had just finished and She one of the nurses walked out and like grabbed some um, like crackers that they had and like a glass of water and walked back in the room and as I walked by the the girl who had just got her lips done she stood up and she looked like she was about to pass out like she looked like she was really really lightheaded and she didn't stand up right away she was like kind of like sitting there and you know they were all kind of like around her like are you okay do you need like water like just take a minute sit down and that made me nervous because that was right before i was gonna get mine done so that made me a little shook, that freaked me out a little bit. I was like, shit, you know, like I, what if I get lightheaded? What if I fucking pass out? She ended up being fine, I was fine. I honestly never felt lightheaded, not once. So just goes to show like how different people are. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Shatter, which is this really pretty kind of like golden shimmer shade. And I'm gonna put that all over. Like the inner corner of my eye and i'm just gonna take that with my finger at first and then i'll probably go in with a brush but i'm not really being too precise with this i'm just kind of putting it all over <laughs> i'm gonna go back with that brush and i'm just gonna blend 
in towards the shimmer instead of blending out and having the shimmer come out a little bit too far. So now I'm just gonna go in with the brush just to get in those more precise areas. And I'm gonna bring this pretty high up, like towards my brow, just on the inner part, like the inner half of my eye, inner corner. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with lashes, and these are the Ilure. What are these? The Ilure Marquise lashes. They came in a three pack. Uh, I will have everything that I use linked. Uh, down below, but I'm just gonna go pop those on really quick and then I will be right back All right, so moving on to the rest of the face I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a mattifying primer. This is a Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer <laughs> Throughout this whole quarantine, I honestly haven't really had an issue with like the mask breaking me out or anything up until probably about a week ago I all of a sudden just started to break out so much just in this area. I think I mentioned it on my channel before though that um, when I do typically break out, you know, before the whole pandemic, I typically would break out on my chin anyway. So me breaking out my chin is never really anything like out of the ordinary for me, but it's never really this bad. I can definitely tell that this is from the mask for sure. They've subsided a lot in there pretty much flat now they're just a little red because i do have a horrible horrible habit of like picking up my breakouts i can't just see a breakout and not touch it it's bad so now going in with foundation i'm going to be using the maybelline fit me dewy and smooth foundation today i've never actually used this foundation before but i have been more into like a dewy finish as of late This foundation is definitely dewy, that is for sure. Even with that mattifying primer underneath, like that's not like a subtle dew, like that is straight up dewy. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal a little bit. I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer and this is in the shade 30.5. And I'm just gonna put this right on the inside of my under eye. And then I'm also going to go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Sand. This is a little bit deeper, a little bit like closer to my skin tone. So I'm just going to take that just on the outside and then work the two together. So recently I have been really loving blending my concealer with a brush. I never really was a huge brush person uh, when it came to concealer but i've really been liking it lately i love the coverage that it gives me and i feel like it just blends so beautifully the brush that i'm using is the sephora pro concealer brush the number 57. i feel like that just blended in like two seconds and it just looks flawless so to set all of that concealer i'm going to take the laura mercier translucent setting powder this is in the shade honey which I've absolutely been loving. They recently came out with a like medium shade for medium skin tones, which is more of like a banana tone one. And I'm just gonna use that to set pretty much all of my makeup. Now that everything is set, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with bronzer. And I'm gonna use first the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And then I just like to take whatever's left on the brush and just go down the sides of my nose. And then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty bronzer in the shade Private Island. I'm gonna take a little bit of this just for a little bit more warmth. And then for blush, I'm gonna go in with my Burt's Bees blush in the shade Toasted Cinnamon. This is the perfect, perfect fall blush shade. If you don't have this blush, you need it in your life. For a little bit of highlight, I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in the shade Molten Gold. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly finish up the eyes. I'm just going to start off 
with that first wax shade that we used, that first yellow shade. I'm basically just gonna do the same exact thing on my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go into blunt on that same brush with a really small uh, shader brush. I'm gonna take the shade Chronic, which was that like dark hunter green, and I'm just putting that really, really close to the lower lash line and only putting it like on the outer third of my eye. I'm gonna go back into that shatter color on a little shadow brush and I'm just gonna pop that right on the inner corner and just brighten up that inner corner a little bit. Instantly a little bit brighter. I'm gonna dip into my Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take this terracotta orange shade here and I'm gonna actually pop that on my lower lash line. I don't have like an orange eyeliner but I wanted a pop of orange in there somewhere. So before I do my lower lash line and mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything with my Wet n Wild 3-in-1 Rose Spray. For mascara for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with my Pat McGrath uh, Dark Star Mascara. And then lastly for lips, I'm going to go ahead and start off with NYX uh, Matte Suede Lip Liner in the shade Cold Brew. And then I'm going to go over top of that with the NYX Lingerie Push Up in the shade Teddy. All right guys, that completes this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Everything that I used will be linked down below as usual. I love the way that this look turned out. It's super, super pretty, very fall vibes without like being just like a warm brown smoky eye. You definitely have like a pop of color in there, which I really, really love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.